Now, there's all kinds of different theories on irrigation, and I've sort of settled upon a frequent shallow irrigation, you might say. I mean, if it's frequent, it's going to penetrate down to the deeper roots, maybe three, four feet down on the avocado tree. So every day for 10 minutes, when it gets hotter, I may increase that if it's foggy or something. I may hit the rain delay, which will stop it for 24 hours, or just cut back on the on the length of time I irrigate. And this one, these are for newer plantings. I've got it set, you know, not deep rooted at this time. So that's just six minutes every day, and that'll go up or down depending on the weather. And uh, as far as uh, being precision there's a there's a sprayer a blue sprayer over there that's busted and it's just shooting a stream over here and there's also a hole in the hose just the water's just going up hitting the drip line and coming back down so it's going to wet a pretty good sized area here and uh, you know i'm not concerned about it i mean i could put a sprayer or a dripper there and bring it in hand but overall it's it's going to be okay and there's some drippers on the other side of the fence and and down that way as well i'll just take a quick look sprayers one putting down a good spray and then up here on the fence it's reaching over to the drip line and soaking that area back there And I've got the same thing going on with some sprayers on the hose up high. And so it's putting the water down right about where the drip line is. You don't want it necessarily close to the trunk. You want it out where the where the rain would come down and, and wet that area. We're even getting some water over this way. It's a little dry here, but all in all, you know, the roots will find the water. And uh you can see the tree. This tree is quite healthy. Keep an eye on it. And the new crop, the flowers, there'll be a new crop appearing fairly soon. You see where the flowers are. Some of those will set into fruit. And uh, in this particular area, there aren't a whole lot of avocados. But overall, it's hard to see them, but this tree is pretty well loaded with fruit. It's getting bigger day by day. Let's see, look at, look at this gold mine of fruit in here. I don't know if you can make it out. I mean, they're just so similarly colored. But probably a, probably a few hundred pounds of fruit on this one tree. Okay, that's all.